Hello and welcome to another episode of Monster Model Review. I'm host Chris Gerke and this episode I'm going to be doing something a little different. Bowen Designs has been releasing busts of the Marvel characters for quite a while now. So I'm a big fan of Iron Man and I figured since the movie's coming out this spring, I would go over the busts produced by Bowen. Now I won't be going in the order they were released, but by the order they appeared in the comics. In March of 1963, Marvel released Tales of Suspense No. 39. Written by Stan Lee and penciled by Jack Kirby, they introduced us to the Golden Avenger. The story goes like this. Industrialist Tony Stark was wounded in a booby trap. He was then captured and forced to create weapons for the enemy. Instead, he de developed an exoskeleton that not only kept him alive, but would also help him escape his captors. The gray bulky suit lasted only the one issue. In issue 40, after scaring civilians, Tony paints the suit a bright gold. The bus, titled Original Iron Man, was sculpted by Carl Sergis and released in 2006. It was limited to 1,500 pieces and is the smallest run of the bus. In issue 48 of Tales of Suspense, the first red and gold armor debuted. Streamline, the armor not only allowed Tony better movement, he now had the ability of flight. The first bust of this version released, called the Silver Age Iron Man, was sculpted by Randy Bowen. It had a release run of 4,000 pieces and was released in 1999. The second bust was released in a three-pack and referred to as the Retro version. It was sculpted by the Kucharik brothers and released in 2007. The Silver Age armor was revised and modified a few more times until the Model 5, which debuted in issue number 3 of Iron Man. This was the version that lasted for many years in the comics, and again, there are two busts of this armor. The first was released in 1999, and again was sculpted by Randy Bowen. This one was limited to 2,000 pieces, and was number 15 in the mini bus series. The second, which is titled The Classic Armor, was released in 2007. Part of a three-pack, it was also uh, sculpted by the Kucharik brothers. In issue 152, we were introduced to one of the many specialty armors that Tony uses. The stealth armor was designed for Iron Man to avoid all forms of detection equipment. It only appeared in two issues, but is considered one of the cooler looking armors. The bus, released with the classic version, was again sculpted by the Kucharik brothers. One of the biggest departures from the red and gold armor happened in issue number 200. The silver centurion armor had a samurai look to it and was designed by Bob Layton. Ironically, this is one of Bob's least favorite versions. Of the suit's many improvements, there was a hologram emitter and a chameleon mode that allowed the armor to blend into the background. This bus is included with the retro armor, and hey look at that, it's sculpted by the Kucharik brothers. This brings us to the modern version of the armor. The suit was designed by artist Ade Granoff and first appeared in the latest relaunch of the Iron Man title. This is also the version that the movie armor was based on. The bus was sculpted by Eric Chan and rounds out the three-pack along with the Centurion and Retro armor. Last and certainly not least is the 2020 version of Iron Man. This armor appeared in issue number two of the Machine Man miniseries. Arno Stark, Tony's descendant, used this armor not for the good of mankind, but for the highest bidder in mercenary warfare and, and corporate espionage. Again, sculpted by the Kucharik brothers, this bus finishes out the other three pack with the stealth and classic versions.
Well, that wraps up all the busts that Bowen has produced up to this time. Uh, being that the movie is coming out in the spring, I suspect that we'll probably see more versions of this armor. And that wraps it up for this episode of Monster Model Review. If you have any comments or questions, you can email us at modelcitizen at charter.net.